uncertainty in measured numbers. So all measurements or all measured values have some uncertainty associated with them. And the magnitude of this uncertainty depends on the type of measurement that is being made and is a reflection of the limitations of that particular measuring device. And so it is important when we make a measurement that we include not only the magnitude of that measurement and the appropriate unit, but we also communicate along with that um, the degree of confidence that we have in that measured value. That is, we communicate this limitation of this experimental device. So for example, if we are measuring the diameter of a coin, such as in, in this image here, we may look at this coin and using this particular device with our centimeter markings. Clearly, the measurement is somewhere between two centimeters and three centimeters. And if we mentally use a little dashed or line down here, we see that we would call this measurement perhaps 2.5 centimeters, including, of course, the appropriate unit. Now, this in this measurement, we are including two significant figures, or two sig figs, indicating that this measurement, using this particular ruler, has a confidence of plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeter. That is, we interpolate between the, the smallest increments of our measuring device. And so we would, by including this two sig figs, we say that the last significant figure is what we call our position of uncertainty. Again, in this case, our position of uncertainty is in the tenths of a centimeter position, and so uh, that communicates that any measurement made with this particular ruler is going to be essentially plus or minus a tenth of a centimeter or one, mil one millimeter. <clears throat> If, on the other hand, we had a ruler such as this one, where now our smallest increments are at the tenth of a centimeter marking, we are very clearly see that it's greater than 2.4 and less than 2.6, and it looks right around 2.5 centimeters. So this is the same measuring device, but now we want to indicate that we are using a more precise instrument, a more precise ruler, and so we will indicate this measurement as 2.50 centimeters. And it's important that we include this zero as our position of uncertainty. Because when we make a measurement using this device, we can estimate that measured value to plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeters, or the hundredth position. And so in this particular measurement, we will include three significant figures, or three sig figs, okay? And all measurements made with this device should include up to the hundredths of a centimeter position, indicating that, again, this zero is important and holds the place representing that this is a our position of uncertainty. In other words, all measurements are plus or minus hundredth of a centimeter here. <clears throat> So all, because all measurements have uncertainty, we want to, again, communicate the degree of uncertainty associated with a particular measurement that reflects the limitations of that uh, instrument. Okay? And so we want to always record the appropriate number of sig fig, indicating that a measurement always has a certain component and an uncertain component. And that uncertain component is always the last sig fig. So that last significant figure tells us where our degree of uncertainty lies. And um, so by convention, we, we usually say that in that last sig fig, uh, the magnitude will vary by plus or minus one in that position. Okay? So all we want to be careful to record all significant figures, remembering that that last sig fig, while it is, in fact, significant. It is our position of uncertainty, and it tells us where uh, the magnitude of uncertainty is associated with that measured value. So here's one more example. So if we're using a graduated cylinder here to measure the volume of what looks like water in this case, 
we always we remember we always measure from the bottom of our meniscus. So we mentally will look at this and draw a line here, which is uh, slightly below the 53. So there's 53. There's 52 milliliters, and so we're we're slightly above below the 53 mark, and so we might call this 52.8 milliliters, indicating that our position of uncertainty lies in the tenth of a milliliter position, and by in, indicating this with three sig figs, we are saying that this measurement is plus or minus 0.1 milliliters.